In this segment, we're going to cover the similarities and differences between UL1310 class number two and LPS limited power source classifications and touch on how to leverage this knowledge when selecting and specifying power supplies. Now the UL1310 class number two outlines power supply requirements for low voltage systems and an emphasis on safety. Similarly, the LPS or limited power source is a designation defined in the IEC 62368-1 specification with the intention of ensuring power that are at safe levels for devices with limited energy specifications. Now here's a general overview of the UL1310 class two and the LPS classifications. Let's take a look at the UL1310 class number two specification and a few parameters that we need to pay specific attention to. These parameters range from voltage and power limits, but also current overcurrent protection mechanisms and also insulation and mechanical construction requirements. Now UL1310 class number two requires that the power source have a limited output not to exceed 30 volts AC or 60 volts DC with the power also not to exceed 100 volt amps or VA or 5 amps DC. The intentions of these limitations are to reduce the risk of electrical shock, prevent fire, and to reduce the likelihood of damage being sustained with connected devices. Now this coincides with the requirement of overcurrent limitation mechanisms and also insulation and mechanical construction requirements. The intention here is to ensure that the excessive current cannot flow, which in turn will protect not only the power supply, but also the devices that they're connected to, and also minimizing the leakage and the risk of electrical shock to the users. Now UL1310 class number two power supplies are generally utilized in low voltage lighting systems, video equipment, and other low power applications that can be found in both residential and commercial and industrial environments. Now similarly, LPS or limited power source compliant power supplies have restrictions on the energy that the power supply can provide as well as the power density per unit area or volume, and also the protection requirements for mitigation of electrical shock, overcurrent, and fire hazards. LPS power supplies are generally utilized in low power applications such as consumer electronics, lighting, computer peripherals, and other devices. Now the differences between UL1310 class two and LPS are with respect to the applicable markets defined specifications and the application scope. UL1310 class number two specifically defines voltages and power limits, while the LPS focuses more on power density and energy limits. The UL1310 class number two is mainly utilized for low voltage applications for residential, commercial, and industrial systems in North America while LPS applies to various low power electronic systems internationally on a global scale. These subtle differences allow for some flexibility when it comes to power supply evaluation, and it is possible in some instances, like for LPS to be sufficient in a system in lieu of the UL1310 class two, or even uh, the other way around. Now by understanding and adhering to these classifications and standards, this ensures that manufacturers and users promote safety and reliability in low power and low voltage applications. For more information on how to specify power supplies, whether UL1310 class two or LPS classifications are a consideration, give us a call here at TRC. Our power specialist will review your requirements, answer all your questions, and select the right power supply for your application. And also to learn more about power supply selection and applications, subscribe to our channel.